Welcome back to another video, family. Make sure y'all mash the like button as soon as y'all come in the building. Prime to Colorado, we back at it again with another episode. I found this old clip where Jordan Seaton was talking to a couple of the other commits um, recently. And it almost seems to me that this was going on right now with the Jordan Seaton not signing. It was already in the works. This was already a plan of action that was intended to happen. Man, y'all check out what it was. Sunday hit live. Y'all gonna see something, okay? Yeah. Y'all gonna y'all gonna see, okay? When that sign of day come, okay? That um, uh, what what that is? The first take, sports centers, all that. You that's know. Blow up. That wait till good. wait till that wait till the real sign of day. It's gonna go stupid, bro. I'm trying to tell you. you don't, okay. Hey, hey, that go so stupid. <laughs> yeah. Come on. That just gonna go stupid, man. Cause, hey, bro. Cause, like, sure. Come on, bro. Waffle House. Yeah. And once again, this was not a new video. This was from a couple weeks ago. But it just was letting everybody know that something was going to come up on signing day around this time. And what happened? Jordan Seaton not committing. And from what I've been reading and from our, what I've been hearing, we, we never know the truth. But it seems like he's just trying to get the biggest bag and just holding out until Maryland... Colorado or Tennessee, whichever one comes with, with that major bag and whichever one gives him the, the most money, that's where he going to go. Because at the end of the day, he always know he can go there for a little bit and hit the transfer portal and leave and go to a bigger school. You can go there, go get your bag, play a year, a couple years, and then transfer to Alabama or Georgia or whatever. So to me, it seems like Jordan Seaton, and from what I've been hearing, is just holding out for the bag, the biggest bag. And whoever is going to give him the most money, that's what he's going to do. And it seems like a lot of these guys have found, like, the recipe and are pretty much using the Colorado Buffaloes to bolster their name up high, high, high so they can demand and try to get more money from some of these other schools. Which, hey, by all means, whatever it takes to secure the bag, do exactly what you need to do. I'm all for that, man. I'm glad to see that they eating, but... It just seems like this is what's transpiring and it was already in motion a while back as far as like what was going to go on on National Signing Day and how this all was planned out. So, man, hopefully everything works out for him. Hopefully he does, you know, sign with the Colorado Buffaloes. But if not, man, wishing him the best and, and domination wherever he go. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video. Subscribe to this channel.